Good afternoon everyone welcome to audio app welcome to today's general awareness video where we are covering the uh, revision mcqs for the month of august and september so guys do let me know if i'm audible and visible uh, do let me know if my voice is loud and clear i welcome you all to today's session so today we'll be going through the uh, mcqs for the month of august and september so Let's get started guys with uh, I would like to request you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Telegram channel link for which is in the description box below guys and through the Telegram channel you will be getting the PDF for today's session in which we will be having the MCQs for the month of August and September Along with that guys I would also like to tell you that we are running a weekend sale we have extended it till 15th of September and you will be getting a flat 40% off on all of our courses with that guys let's get started with the mcqs for the month of august starting on the first question that i have for you today is that recently who has been appointed as the brand ambassador for amway and its neutralite range of products the options are saikom mirabai chanu neeraj chopra pv sindhu ravi dhaiya or ms dhoni come on guys uh quick and easy the brand ambassador for amway and its neutralite range of products the options are mirabai chanu neeraj chopra pv sindhu ravi kumar dhaiya and ms the right answer for this is 66% so the delhi government has approved a hike in salary and allowances of its members of legislative assemblies by 66% as proposed by the center moving on next we have that the annual financial inclusion index for the period ending march 2021 is dash showing a dramatic improvement in the past 4 years the options are 52.9%, 53.9%, 54.9% 54 and 55.9%. So the question is that what is the fi uh, financial inclusion index for the period ending March 2021? Okay, so I have received answer 53.9 53.9 that is the right answer. So the annual financial inclusion index for the period March 2021 is 53.9 as against 43.4 for the period ending march 2017 so that is a drastic improvement in the past 4 years moving on next we have that recently reserve bank of india has fined dash to hewlett packard that is hp financial services india private limited the options are 4 lakhs 5 lakhs 6 lakhs 7 lakhs or 10 lakhs So Reserve Bank of India has fined HP Financial Services India Private Limited what is the amount of pri uh, fine that has been fined to HP by Reserve Bank of India so 6 lakhs okay so yes 6 lakhs is the right answer so uh, RBI has fined HP Financial Services Private Limited for 6 lakh rupees moving on next we have that which of the following organizations has established permanent body to address challenges of racial discrimination so a very important question for which of the following organization has established a permanent body to address the challenges of racial discrimination the options are un unhrc wef european union or g20 come on guys we have seen uh, in the previous year questions that these sort of questions are very important so the right answer for question number 5 which of the following organizations has established a permanent body okay so i am getting an answer unhrc the right answer is un so united nations general assembly has approved the resolution to create a permanent board permanent forum of people of african descendant Moving on next we have that recently MOU has been signed between India and Dash over Ashwagandha trials for covid recovery so the options are USA Israel France Japan or UK so an MOU has been signed between India and which of the following countries over the trials of Ashwagandha for covid recovery 
राइट गाइज यू के इज द राइट आंसर सो अश्वगंधा ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इंडियन विंटर चेरी इज अ ट्रेडिशनल इंडियन हर्ब एंड द एम ओ यू हैज बीन साइन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड यू के फॉर द ट्रायल्स ऑफ अश्वगंधा फॉर कोविड रिकवरी मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट वी हैव दैट रिसेंटली हु हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड द एज द बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस एट द इंडियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल ऑफ मेलबर्न The options are Deepika Padukone, Alia Bhatt, Vidya Balan, Kangana Ranaut or none of the above. I will repeat the question one more time guys. Recently who has been awarded as the uh as the uh, as the best actress at the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne 2021? The options are Deepika Padukone, Alia Bhatt, Vidya Balan, Kangana Ranaut or none of the above. The right answer for this is guys with their balan a lot of you have given the right answer so uh, she has been awarded for her uh, portrayal of forest officer in the widely acclaimed fil film Sherni Manoj Bajpayee won the best actor award and Anurag Basu won the best director award Next guys we have that recently who among the following has been appointed as the chairperson of National Commission for Women The options are Jayanti Patnaik, Lalita Kumarangalam, Dr. Purnima Advani, Rekha Sharma or none of the above. I will repeat the question one more time guys. Recently among the following has been appointed as the chairperson of the National Commission for Women. Okay so Aarti Pooja and Arpita have given me the answer Rekha and that is the right answer. So Rekha Sharma has been appointed as the chairperson of National Commission for Women Moving on next guys we have that recently Ibrahim Raisi who has become the new president of which of the following countries amid regional tension so we are talking about the new president of which of the following countries the person who has been nominated is Ibrahim uh, Raisi the options are Iraq Lebanon Armenia Qatar or Iran so Iran 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 right uh, perfectly right Iran Iran is the right answer. So, uh Ibrahim Raisi has been appointed as the new pre president of Iran. Moving on next we have guys that recently Dr. Dhriti Banerjee has become first women director of which of the following institutions in 100 years? The options are Wildlife Institute of India, Archaeological Survey of India, Zoological Survey of India, Wadia Institute or none of the above. a very important question guys dr dhriti banerjee has been appointed as the first women director of which of the following institutions in 100 years so the options are uh, wildlife institution archaeological survey zoological survey where the institute on one of the above yes zsi the, is the right answer so zoological survey of india has appointed dr dhriti banerjee who has become the first women director in the history of zoological survey of india of more than 100 years moving on next guys we have that recently rashid rani has passed away which of the following fields did he come from the options are film politics journalism sports or none of the above guys we will be going through the august month fairly quickly since we have already covered uh, a lot of questions from the month of august and these are for your revision so next we'll be covering we have to cover up the month of september as well i have 25 mcqs for both the months i will repeat the question once again that rashid irani has recently passed away uh, he belonged to which of the following fields so i am getting the answer film the right answer is film so a film reviewer a rest restorer occasional actor rashid irani has recently passed away he belonged to the film industry moving on next we have that recently the total loans and advances extend, extended by nabard during 2021 2020 2021 registered a growth of dash year on year to reach 6 lakh crores the options are 21.2% 23.2% 25.2% 27.2% or 29.2% come on guys a very interesting question here so the total loans and advances extended by the nabard so we are preparing for the nabard exam and we have a question related to nabard during the uh, during the year 2021 2020 2021 registered a growth of dash 
year on year to reach 6 lakh crore rupees 23.2 is the answer that i am getting the right answer is 25.2 percent guys so uh, okay so i am receiving a lot of answers as 23.2 i will check it and let you know in the comment section below after the video Moving on next guys, we have that recently which of the following countries has missed the deadline to submit fresh targets for cutting greenhouse gas emissions to the United Nations. The options are India, China, Saudi Arabia, all of the above or none of the above. Recently which of the following countries has missed the deadline to submit fresh targets for cutting greenhouse gases emission to the United Nations. So. Which of the following nations have missed the deadline guys? Yes. All of the above is the right answer. India, China and Saudi Arabia. All of them missed the deadlines to submit their fresh targets for cutting greenhouse gas emissions to the United Nations. Moving on next we have guys that recently the Union Culture Minister has announced government had decided to celebrate which of the days as Parakram Devas. The options are December 16. January 23, August 16, September 23 or none of the above. Okay, so Pooja and Aviral have given me the answer 23rd of January. That is the right answer. The Union Culture Minister announced that government had decided to celebrate 125th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose starting from January 23, 2021 as Parakram Devas. So do remember that Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose birth anniversary, 125th birth anniversary has been decided to be celebrated as Parakram Devas which is on 23rd of January. Moving on next we have that Indian government has announced which of the following days as National Handloom Day to mark the 100th anniversary of Swadeshi movement which started in 1905. The options are August 4, August 5, August 6, August 7 or none of the above. Yes guys, the right answer is August 7. So the uh, National Handloom Day has been marked on August 7. The aim of National Handloom Day is to make people aware of the rich history of Indian handloom. Moving on next we have that recently which of the following has introduced auto pay functionality for its mutual fund investment offerings through unified payment interface that is UPI. The options are Paytm, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Phone Pay or none of the above. Which of the following has introduced auto pay functionality guys through UPI? The options Paytm, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Phone Pay or none of the above. Phone pay is the right answer. So phone pay has introduced auto pay functionality for its mutual fund and investment offerings through UPI. Moving on next we have that recently which of the following institutions has won the training and education excellence award at the Quantic India third annual BFSI excellence awards 2021. The options are NIIT of uh, NIIT Institute of fin Finance, Banking and Insurance. IIM Bangalore, IIM Ahmedabad, IIFT or none of the above. So guys, the right answer for this is NIIT Institute of Finance, Banking and Insurance has won the Training and Education Excellence Award at Quantic India 3rd Annual BFSI Excellence Awards. Moving on next guys we have that recently which of the following banks has launched SIM binding feature for its banking apps. The options are HDFC Bank, SBI, Access Bank, Punjab National Bank or ICICI Bank. So question number 18 yes SBI, Pooja and Abiral have given me the right answer. SBI has launched the SIM binding feature for its banking apps. Uh, the application's names are Yono and Yono Lite, which are the SBI's uh, banking, uh, you know, applications. Moving on next, we have that the Export Import Bank of India, that is Exim Bank, has entered into an agreement for Dash line of credit to Mauritius for procurement of defense items for India. The Export Import Bank of India has entered into an agreement for Dash 
line of credit to Mauritius procurement of, for procurement of defense items from India. The options are $100 million, $150 million, $120 million, $180 million or none of the above. So $100 million is the right answer. Very nice guys. Moving on next we have that recently which of the following states or union territories has signed an MOU with Walmart, Vidhi and Hakdarshak. The options are Delhi, Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana or none of the above. I will repeat the question that which of the states or union territories have signed an MOU with Walmart, Vridhi and Hakdarsh. Okay, so I am receiving the option uh, Haryana as the right answer. And Haryana has, uh, you know, signed an MOU with Walmart, Vridhi and Hakdarshak. The program would offer MSMEs trainings and support apart from opportunities to join online, offline and export channels and reach global marketplaces. Moving on next guys, we have that recently Arunachal Pradesh has signed a memorandum of agreement with which of the following for the development of two hydropower projects in the state. The options are NIPCO, IFCO, LNT, Next Era Energy or none of the above. So recently Arunachal Pradesh has signed a memorandum of agreement that is MOA with which of the following for the development of two hydropower projects in the state. So this makes the question very important. The options are NIPCO, IFCO, LNT, Next Era Energy or none of the above. The right answer for this is guys NIPCO. Moving on next we have that recently which of the following states or union territories has launched proof that is photographic record of on-site facility app. The options are Ladakh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim or Jammu and Kashmir. So it is Jammu and Kashmir that have launched the uh, proof that is photographic record of on-site facility app. Moving on next we have that recently Dash State Police has launched a first of its kind drone forensic lab and a research center with an aim to address rising concerns in this regard, the drones. The options are Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh or Telangana. Come on guys, which of the following states police have launched the first of its kind drone forensic lab? The options are Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Yes guys, uh, so the answer for this is Kerala. Kerala State Police has launched the first of its kind drone forensic lab for research uh, and a research center with an aim to address rising concerns in this regard. Moving on next we have that recently the Ministry of Commerce and Industry MOCI has laid down a roadmap for targeted 1 US uh, trillion dollars in exports of goods by the year. The options are 2026. 2024, 2028, 2030 or none of the above. Come on guys, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry has laid down a roadmap for targeted 1 trillion US dollars export by the year. The option, okay, so I am receiving option C that is 2028 as the right answer and that is the right answer for the question. So the target uh, is 2028. Moving on next, we have that recently India's first Cattle genomic chip dash for the conser conservation of pure varieties of indigenous cattle breeds is launched. The options are Bharat Gau, Indi Gau, Indi Gau, Bharat Cow or none of the above. So guys, India's first cattle genomic chip dash. What is the name of the chip for the conservation of pure varieties of indigenous cattle breeds? So 25 answer is Indi Gau. So this indigenous chip was developed by the concerted effort scientists of National Institute of Animal Biotechnology, Hyderabad. How can we remember this? Well, indigenous is the word here. And the another thing we are talking about is cattle. So Indi, indigenous, Gau. Along with that, with Indi, we can also remember India. I know Bharat might sound more patriotic, but well, indigenous and India Remember, we are covering two points from one name. 
Now guys, we'll be moving on to the MCQs for the month of September 2021. Again, we'll be covering 25 MCQs. So keep up the pace, keep up the josh and let's get started with the question number one for September 2021. The question one is that recently India's tallest air purification tower has been inaugurated in which of the following states or union territories. Look at the keyword guys, India's tallest air purification tower has been inaugurated in which of the following union territories or states. The options are Chandigarh, New Delhi, Tamil Nadu, Kerala or none of the above. Okay, so yes, Chandigarh is the right answer. Chandigarh has inaugurated its the India's tallest air purification tower while Delhi inaugurated India's first smog tower. Remember that guys, first smog tower, f tallest air purification tower. Okay, so all of those who are giving the uh, option D as answer, just remember that Delhi has inaugurated the first smog tower in India and Chandigarh has inaugurated India's tallest air purification tower. Next, we have that recently, which of the following cryptocurrency exchange companies has become India's first crypto unicorn with a valuation of US $1.1 billion. The options are coins which hit BTC, coin DCX or bit BNS. Come on guys, coin DCX is the right answer very well. So it has become India's first crypto unicorn. Moving on next, we have that recently Union Minister of Commerce and Industry has virtually addressed Confederation of India, Indian Industries annual meeting special session on synergy between the government and business for sustainable growth. What is the theme for this year's annual meeting? The options are building national competitiveness, India and India at 75, government and business working together for Atmanirmar Bharat, India at 75, forging ahead with purpose perseverance and resilience, building a better India together, responsible, inclusive and ahead or none of the above. So question number three, option two is the right answer. Very well. Now the, you know, theme for this session was that India at MDF government and business working together for Atmanirbhar Bharat. Very good guys. Moving on next, we have that recently, which of the following companies has decided to end their joint venture prion business services with Katmaran Ventures, a private investment firm. So we are asking which of the following companies have decided to end their joint venture. This is the name of the joint venture with this company. So uh, companies, this and this having a joint venture, this will be, uh, you know, end by March, May 2022. The options are Walmart, Flipkart, Auto, Amazon, or none of the above. Question number four, the right answer for question number four. Okay, so the right answer for this is guys, Amazon. So Amazon has decided to end their joint venture with uh, Catamaran Ventures for their joint venture, Prion Business Services. Next, we have that recently, which of the following companies has hit a market capitalization of 6 trillion U uh, Indian rupees? The options are Flipkart, Hindustan Unilever Limited, Adani Group, or Wipro or none of the above. Come on guys, we are covering the month of September 2021 and we are at question number five. Recently, which of the following companies has hit a market capitalization of rupees six trillion? Okay, so Hindustan Unilever is the right answer. So HUL has hit a market capitalization of rupees six trillion. Moving on next, we have that the 50th anniversary of Indo-Soviet Treaty on Peace, Friendship and Cooperation has been celebrated in which of the following states? The options are Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu or none of the above. Overall has given me the answer Kerala. Uh, recently, the 50th anniversary of Indo-Soviet Treaty on Peace, Friendship and Cooperation has been celebrated in which of the following states? So the right answer for this is Kerala. So the 50th anniversary of the Indo-Soviet Treaty on Peace, Friendship and Cooperation has been 
celebrated in Kerala. Moving on next, we have guys that recently Mahayogi Goraknath Vishwavidyale has been inaugurated by the President of India in which of the following states? We are talking about Mahayogi Goraknath with David, uh, Vishwavidyale. The options are Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Manipur or none of the above. So, Mahayogi Goraknath Vishwavidyale has been inaugurated in which of the following states? The right answer for this is guys Uttar Pradesh. So, the Mahayogi Goraknath Vishwavidyale has been inaugurated in Uttar Pradesh by the President of India. Moving on next we have that. Recently, which of the following countries has successfully tested their indigenously developed Fateh-1 guided multi-launch rocket, rocket system MLRS? The options are Pakistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Turkey or none of the above. Okay, so Pakistan is the right answer. So Pakistan has recently tested successfully tested their indigenously developed Fateh-1 missile. Moving on next we have that recently the former Union Minister KJ Alphonse has represented a book with the title Dash. The options are Accelerating India 7 Years of Modi Government, The Legend of Suhail Dev, The King Who Saved India, The Pillar, The Third Pillar, Undoubted Saving the India, Saving the Idea of India or none of the above. Question number 9. So option one, I am receiving the option one as answer from Nilesh, Pooja, Shreya, Aviral, Venkat. So accelerating India, seven years of Modi government is the right answer. Moving on next, we have that recently, which of the following countries has successfully tested the indigenously developed Fateh-1 guided multi-launch rocket system MLRS. The options are Pakistan, Iran, Again guys, sorry, uh, this question has been repeated, but well, let's just revise that Pakistan has uh, indigenously developed the Fateh-1 guided missile. Next, we have that recently, which of the following companies has launched a freedom commemorative, commemorative uh, watch named Amrit? The options are VST Tellers, HMT Limited, Fast Track, Scott Limited or none of the above. We are talking about a freedom commemorative watch named Amrath. Okay, so HMT. Guys, how is the Josh? Are you liking the session or not? So, question number 11. The right answer for this is HMT. So, HMT has launched a freedom commemorative watch named Amrath. Moving on next, we have that which of the following social media applications has ba has been uh, ban has banned Taliban and all content supporting it from its platform. So a social media application has banned Taliban and its supporting content from its platform. The options are Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram or none of the above. OK, so Facebook is the right answer. So Facebook has banned Taliban and all supporting content from its platform. Moving on next, we have that recently, which of the following social networking platforms has launched a paid feature super follows that allows creators on the platform to write exclusive content to its subscribers. The options are Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, or none of the above. So we are talking about a special feature called super follows that will allow creators to uh, provide exclusive content to its subscribers. Question number 13, the right answer is Twitter. So Twitter has launched a paid feature called Super Follows. Moving on next guys, we have that Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has addressed the sixth meeting of agriculture ministers of the members of country of Shanghai Cooperation Organization that is SS SCO which of the following countries has virtually hosted the meeting? The options are Russia, India, Kazakhstan, Tajakistan uh, or none of the above. Question number 14. Tajakistan is the right answer guys. So the meeting has been virtually organized by the Tajakistan. 
Moving on next we have that recently which of the following west african countries has reported the first case of marburg virus disease The options are Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana or Guinea the or none of the above which of the following west african countries has reported first case of marburg virus disease Guinea is the right answer guys so Guinea has reported the first case of marburg virus disease moving on next we have that according to the recently released nikai asia a global survey of downloads in 2020 which of the following has become world's most downloaded social media application we are talking about the world's most downloaded social media applications the survey was released by Nikki Asia the options are twitty twitter snapchat instagram tiktok or none of the above yes aviral yes nilesh uh yes shreya venkat very good tiktok is the right answer moving on next we have that recently which of the following countries has passed a resolution to recognize and regulate cryptocurrency for payments The options are Cuba, Germany, Russia, Kenya or none of the above. We are talking about a country that has passed a resolution to recognize and regulate cryptocurrencies for payments. Okay, so the options Cuba, Germany, Russia, Kenya or none of the above. Cuba is the right answer guys, very well. Moving on next we have that recently who among the following has been appointed as the managing director of exim bank that is export import bank of india the options are harsh bhupendra Bang bangari satish roy ramesh prasad tarun dwe uh, tuvedi or none of the above a very important question guys who has been appointed as the managing director of exim uh, export import bank of india that is exim bank question number 18 okay so nilesh pooja aarti You have given me the option A as the answer and Harsha Bhupendra Bangari has been appointed as the managing director of Export Import Bank of India. Moving on next we have that recently who among the following has been appointed as senior vice president and global partnership lead of Wipro. So we are talking about the senior vice president of Wipro. The options are Himanshu Saxena, Thierry Delaporte, Jason uh, Ishzol sort of go will or none of the above so the right answer for this is guys jason ishin zol has been appointed as the senior vice president and global partnership lead of wipro question number 20 we have that recently maki kaji uh, has passed away he was the creator of which of the following puzzle games the options are kendoko kankaro nanogram sudoku or none of the above question number 20 the options are kendoku kakoru nonogram sudoku or none of the above yes guys sudoku is the right answer so maki kaji who has recently passed away was the creator of the puzzle game sudoku moving on next guys we have that recently multination exercise apart 2021 has been held in which of the following countries So the options are Belarus, Armenia, Serbia, Russia or none of the above. A very important question guys. We are talking about exercise uh, Zapar 2021. India is taking part in this exercise. Russia is the right answer so the exercise is taking place in Russia. Moving on next we have that recently which of the following Indian naval ships has observed joy of giving week. as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav the options are ins guldar ins vikramaditya ins jalshwa jalshwa ins kaseri or none of the above we are talking about uh, uh, the joy of giving week which has been marked on which of the following indian naval ships as a part of amrit azadi ka amrit mahotsav The right answer for this is guys INS Vikramaditya. Very well guys. Now we are moving on to almost the end of the MCQs. Next we have that recently which of the following countries has successfully tested the indigenously developed Fateh-1 guided missile 
launch rocket system the options are pakistan iran saudi arabia turkey or none of the above we uh, the right answer for this is guys pakistan moving on next we have that recently keshav desi raju has passed away he was the former union secretary of which of the following ministries a very important question guys keshav desi raju has recently passed away he was the former union secretary of which of the following ministries the options are ministry of home affairs ministry of health and family welfare ministry of minority affairs ministry of law and justice or none of the above okay so he was the union secretary of ministry of health and family welfare moving on next we have that recently who among the following has won riga technical university open blitz chess title the options are rizihas vilrajes uh, ronak uh, sadwani m karthikeyan r pragnanda or none of the above who among the following has won riga technical university open blitz chest title come on guys this is the last question for today the right answer for this is guys r pragnanda has won the open blitz chest title at riga technical university so thank you guys for joining in uh, this was it from my side for any queries drop us a mail at hello@edutab.co.in and we'll be coming up with the current affairs session on thursday log into our website uh, and that's it from my end guys thank you very much for joining in